the top line thoughts? Yeah, very, very excited, very appreciative. That uh, is an outstanding bowl, a great opponent from a, from a, certainly a great league. And uh, I think our guys are excited about it. We got to practice in today. Uh, we kind of had two tentative schedules, depending on when we played. And now that we know we're playing on the 27th, uh, we'll get that to our players as quick as possible and start prepping as soon as we can while we're recruiting and getting ready for sign day. Did you think Washington would get into a New Year's Six and kind of create that shuffle? Well, I knew a little bit about the scenario that if they got into the top 11 or so, that they were going to get into New Year's Six, depending on what happened last night. And, uh, you know, it was obviously a fluid situation, so we were just kind of, I don't know if someone say we made a whole lot of preparations either way, um, so because we knew we were going to be in a good bowl, but, you know, this is a great bowl for us, and I think our fans and our players, everybody should be excited. How much involvement do you have in that process as far as conversation? None. None, <laughs> None whatsoever. <laughs> you know, we let, we let our, you know, our Dave and our athletic administrators do a great job. Our conference obviously has tie-ins, and, and uh, you know, we've got a lot of bowl eligible teams, so I don't know how they all figured it out in such a short period of time. And you know, it changes, and you know, probably changed a lot in the last 48 hours. That uh, I thought they, I haven't even looked at what everybody else is playing in, but unfortunately, we're playing in one. We want to play in the postseason. What do you know about Purdue? Not much, uh, you know, other than uh, their new staff has done a great job. You know, I know they had some big wins early in the year. You know, had a big win, obviously, in the last game to get Bo eligible. But I haven't seen him on film, haven't had a chance to see him on TV or anything like that. How, how will the date of the bowl game kind of affect how you approach this signing day? Yeah, it's a little different. We were, um, if we were going to play earlier, if we were going to, you know, we were already working at our finals and trying to get that situation. This year being later, won't really affect us from a final standpoint and really probably won't affect us as much in recruiting because we'll still have the two weekends coming up. Uh, this weekend was a busy weekend for us, and certainly the having the early signing period really makes it the 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 signing period in most people's minds. I think 70% of the prospects will probably sign uh, here on the 20th. How much can you say about how Kalos come along since the Arizona State game, injury-wise? Well, he's fine. Yeah, it was a sprain, and you know we had a couple other guys banged up in that game, and I don't know the whole uh, you know the but the medical prognosis is for some of those guys that were out, but most of them should be, that were out of the game uh, with minor injuries should be back hopefully for this game. So you would expect Khalil to be available? Yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll be good to go. Fifth bowl in six games, and how does this one compare? Or yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is a, you know, it's a great venue. You know, we were there a couple of years ago when we played in the championship game. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, we're fortunate they picked us, you know, we were, we, we could, oh, they're all, they're all, like I told the team a couple weeks ago, they're, they're all good. You know, they haven't, haven't been to any bad bowl games. They're all good, but it's nice to want to be wanted. And I think our fans will show up. I know our guys will play hard, and it's a great opponent from a, a traditionally very strong league. What can, I guess, can, how do you categorize then maybe Khalil's effect on, you know, maybe you guys getting a little bit of an up selection and, and obviously the other teams. Oh, I don't know. You have to ask him that. I think it's, he's excited to play, but I think he's got a lot of exciting pieces around him, too. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've said this many times. You know, he's still a work in progress. He's still a young guy that hasn't uh, played a whole season yet. But, you know, it's important to him, and I think it's important to our seniors, uh, most especially, that, you know, they, they try to have, uh, you know, we've had two bad losses and the end of the season and losses that we didn't have a good taste in our mouth, and we got a chance to try to change that in the bowl game. What was your, uh, what were some of your takeaways when you watched the film of that territorial cup game? Well, you got to give ASU some credit. And, you know, our guys played hard, we competed, and, but we didn't play well at stretches on any phase. All three phases at times played pretty well, and all three phases at times didn't play well. You know, we'll learn from that one. Uh, we've watched, uh, I haven't watched the film with the team yet, but I've watched it uh, myself. Uh, but, you know, it's a whole, different dynamic in a bowl game. It's like you, you got a month from our last game basically to the next one and you know, we've got to get make sure our guys are getting in shape and getting ready to play a big game. Burns was at a size advantage against Harry, but what did you like about the way he competed and, and when he was matched up against a big receiver like that? Um, well, geez, I haven't really thought much about it other than he's, a, you know, the Keel's a great player. And I think Lorenzo's had a pretty solid year. But we're going to use this time, too, to, to work our younger guys that haven't played much this year. We're going to work on getting some of our guys bigger. we got to get bigger. We're a small team, and 
we're going to get bigger with the guys we got, and we're going to get bigger through recruiting. So you have as many as 15 practices. I don't know how many exactly you're going to have. Yeah, I'm we sure won't get do. that many. I don't. But I, what's your kind of what's your plan as far as playing or practicing young guys or you know, getting them more reps, and and how can that help them? Well, I think it's you know just from a fundamental standpoint, I, I think it's the bowl practice stuff is probably a little overrated as far as how it gets gets you further developed because you don't I mean it's not a really a full spring practice but there is some practice like today we you know we got about 10 15 minutes of kind of live stuff with our young guys and you know it's a chance to work on fundamentals and we'll do that the first few bowl practices that we do this week will be half on Purdue and half fundamentals and uh, you know certainly when we get closer to game week we're just going to try to win the game.